Storm clouds are gathering. Hello. In this episode, we'll be taking a look how exactly storm spells work, how they synergize, and what effective ways can we use them in. We will assume that you have seen how storm operates, and or have tried it yourself at least once. Let's begin. Besides the obvious use of hitting the enemy with it, Remnant can also be used to effectively last hit multiple creeps at once. Remnant also triggers upon contact with invisible enemies, making it a good short time sentry. Can also be used to grant vision for the warding. Your middle tower is being attacked. <laughs> Touché. If we arrive upon an empty camp, we can clear it faster by pre-stacking some remnants in it. Most of the time, we will use Vortex either to lock enemies' position in place. Stupendous! Oh! Let the fun begin! Zap! Double kill. Or to both avoid an otherwise incoming attack while also gaining an overload charge. Radiant's top tower is under attack. It's probably fine. Trust me, I'm a supercomputer and I barely understand what's happening. I'm over here. Killing spree. Other uses include breaking teleports. Dyer's bottom tower is under siege. Eventually, with enough practice, we can use Vortex to interrupt black holes or pull voice out of Chronos. Left you a little something. Whoa, what I miss? I saw this in. Hmm, keeping my blow the man down. At higher levels, against squishier opponents, sometimes you can kill an enemy during just the vortex duration. Touché. There they go. Looking for me? You blew it. <laughs> Basic use is either using it for securing last hits, or when you want to drive an opponent away from the lane. Since overload can be applied while the projectile is flying, it's sometimes useful to wait until Remnant is off cooldown before right-clicking the opponent. Mm -hmm. Blood. Thanks and have fun. Always be mindful how you can activate the charge. Sometimes you won't have enough mana for a jump, but just enough mana for a remnant. Over here. Over here now. Mega kill. Blow the man down. Since overload deals damage in an area, if an enemy becomes untargetable, you can still damage it by hitting the nearest hostile target. This is where Storm achieves its first power spike. All of our spells work in unison, and we can do some neat tricks. Your most basic use consists of dancing around the enemy, launching overloaded attacks. Looking for me? Touché! Whoa, what I miss? Zip zap! Okay, that was unexpected. <laughs> While in the jungle, if you have mana to spare, you can use your ultimate to stack a couple of camps at once. At higher levels, ultimate can be used to zip from fountain to the large creep camp, getting you back to the battlefield faster with a small gold and experience bonus. 
Make sure to continuously use battle during travel time. This is especially great if a rune is nearby for pickup. At max level, you can also make fountain jumps to kill lane creeps risk-free. With the travel boots, ultimating one wave while teleporting to another becomes possible. Also on max level, with the remnant talent, you can use those as a short-term vision. Traveling from fountain to a teleport-assisted fight gives you a nice mana regen boost. You are also invulnerable during sipping. This can be used to effectively neutralize incoming attacks. If a targeted spell is absorbed during ultimate, it will not break your Lincolns. You can also dance around dangerous enemies who have instant disables. If they can't target you fast enough, they can't hurt you. Items can be applied while flying. This is mostly used to silence or disable enemies who would otherwise instantly disengage from the fight or turn it in their favor. Combining the fountain region and the fact that the storm is untargetable during zipping, you can do dive bombs to safely chip away at enemy heroes. If your jump exceeds the distance from which you can make it back to the base in one zip, instead travel further while teleporting back. Dominating, I guess. Satisfying moments from playing Storm is dodging deadly spells in just the right time. If you can bait out the big ultimates, your team will definitely appreciate the space made. We'll go over those very briefly, since each individual game is different. Remnant is maxed when Storm is planning to do some jungle clearing, Overload is maxed when Storm is farmed even or ahead of the enemies and plans to do some killing. Vortex is leveled as soon as it increases Storm's skill potential on a hero. For talents, Mana Region helps early game efficiency. Extra Remnant damage fastens up wave clears and synergizes well with the level 25 Remnant talent, which you'll want 99% of the time. Attack Speed talent is also preferable, unless for some reason you're building Agonyms. That's all for today. The next episode, we'll be covering items. Good luck. Mm -hmm.